Hans Christian Orsted, Danish, Hans Kasdjansdd, often rendered Orsted in English. The 14th of August 1777 to the 9th of March 1851 was a Danish physicist and chemist who discovered that electric currents create magnetic fields, an important aspect of electromagnetism. He shaped post-Kantian philosophy and advances in science throughout the late 19th century. In 1824, Orsted founded Selskabet for Natur Lirens SNU, a society to disseminate knowledge of the natural sciences. He was also the founder of predecessor organizations which eventually became the Danish Meteorological Institute and the Danish Patent and Trademark Office. Orsted was the first modern thinker to explicitly describe and name the thought experiment. A leader of the so-called Danish Golden Age, Orsted was a close friend of Hans Christian Andersen and the brother of politician and jurist Anders Sando Orsted, who eventually served as Danish Prime Minister, 1853-54. The Ørsted, i.e., the CGS unit of magnetic H-field strength, is named after him. Early Life and Studies Ørsted was born in Rudkobing. As a young boy Ørsted developed his interest in science, while working for his father, who owned a pharmacy. He and his brother Anders received most of their early education through self-study at home, going to Copenhagen in 1793 to take entrance exams for the University of Copenhagen, where both brothers excelled academically. By 1796 Orsted had been awarded honours for his papers in both aesthetics and physics. He earned his doctorate in 1799 for a dissertation, based on the works of Kant entitled The Architectonics of Natural Metaphysics. In 1801 Orsted received a travel scholarship and public grant which enabled him to spend three years travelling across Europe. In Germany he met Johann Wilhelm Ritter, a physicist who believed there was a connection between electricity and magnetism. This made sense to Orsted, since he believed in Kantian ideas about the unity of nature and that deep relationships existed between natural phenomena. Their conversations drew Orsted into the study of physics. He became a professor at the University of Copenhagen in 1806, and continued his research with electric currents and acoustics. Under his guidance the university developed a comprehensive physics and chemistry program, and established new laboratories. Electromagnetism Statue of Orsted and Orsted Spiken, in Copenhagen. On 21 April 1820, during a lecture, Orsted noticed a compass needle deflected from a magnetic north when an electric current from a battery was switched on and off, confirming a direct relationship between electricity and magnetism. His initial interpretation was that magnetic effects radiate from all sides of the wire carrying an electric current, as do light and heat. Three months later he began more intensive investigations and soon thereafter published his findings, showing that an electric current produces a circular magnetic field as it flows through a wire. This discovery was not due to mere chance, since Orsted had been looking for a relation between electricity and magnetism for several years. The special symmetry of the phenomenon was possibly one of the difficulties that retarded the discovery. It is sometimes claimed that Italian giant Domenico Romagnosi was the first person who found a relationship between electricity and magnetism, about two decades before Orsted's 1820 discovery of electromagnetism. However, Romagnosi's experiments did not deal with electric currents, and only showed that an electrostatic charge from a voltaic pile could deflect a magnetic needle. His researches were published into Italian newspapers, and were largely overlooked by the scientific community. Orsted's findings stirred much research into electrodynamics throughout the scientific community, influencing French physicist André Mariampa's developments of a single mathematical formula to represent the magnetic forces between current-carrying conductors. Orsted's work also represented a major step toward a unified concept of energy. Later years in 1825, Orsted made a significant contribution to chemistry by producing aluminium for the first time. While an aluminium iron alloy had previously been developed by British scientist and inventor Humphrey Davy, Orsted was the first to isolate the element via a reduction of aluminium chloride. In 1829, Orsted founded Den Polytechnische Lrenstalt, College of Advanced Technology, which was later renamed the Technical University of Denmark, DTU. Orsted died at Copenhagen in 1851, aged 73, and was buried in the Assistance Cemetery in the same city. Legacy 
the centimeter gram second system, CGS, unit of magnetic induction, Oestinck, is named for his contributions to the field of electromagnetism. The 100 Dansk Krona note issued from 1950 to 1970 carried an engraving of Oestinck. The buildings that are home to the Department of Chemistry and the Institute for Mathematical Sciences at the University of Copenhagen are named the H.C. Oested Institute, after him. The first Danish satellite, launched 1999, was named after Orsted. Two medals are awarded in Orsted's name, the Orsted Medal for Notable Contributions in the Teaching of Physics in America, awarded by American Association of Physics Teachers, along with the H.C. Orsted Medal for Danish Scientists, awarded by the Danish Selskabat for Naturalisarenesudbredels, Society for the Dissemination of Natural Science, which Orsted founded. The H.C. Osted Lectureship is awarded to two prominent researchers annually, and has been bestowed upon the following scientists.